Now talking about the backpack equipment, and we have the battery operated and the petrol operated versions. Uh, let's talk about the long ray here, battery operated. Can we have a bit of an explanation please on what are the features and benefits of this, this piece of equipment here? The long ray pioneer with this machine is, um, is a lithium ion powered machine. So obviously the first advantage we have over the um, Dynafog Hurricane Ultra and the uh, Vector Fog is that we've got portability. So we're not connected up to 240 volt. So we've got the freedom to move either outdoors or within a, a warehouse um, wherever we want to go. Um, that also means that we need to manage battery life um, just as we, we would with anything else that's battery powered. The main difference other than that is that the fan unit that drives the ULV action also pressurises the fluid tank as well. Okay. So where we had a, a, in a mister, a Venturi effect sucking sucking product up and, and dispersing it. We now have pressurising a tank and pushing liquid out through the nozzle. Yep. What does that really mean? Well, the biggest advantage for us is that it makes it a bit easier for us to calibrate. So instead of with the other machines having to put liquid into the machine, running it for a long period of time and then measuring what's left in the tank, we can now measure what's coming out of the, the unit itself and I'll show you that now. Yep. So what we've got at the, the user end of the device is we've got a, a trigger on and off. We've got a couple of different fan speeds, so now we're starting to see some variability in how much airflow we can produce with our equipment. And we've got a, a dose nozzle here, in this case zero to seven, um, obviously higher number, more output. And what we have got is a fluid output being um, released into a centrifugal airstream and shattering um, that fluid into small droplets. So in, in terms of being able to calibrate it, the first thing we can do is we can add a piece of hose to the fluid outlet and then we can run that into a jug. Now why are we doing that? The key thing here is that we need to have the machine running because the, the tank needs to be pressurised, we need to make sure that we've got the full flow coming through the metering valve when we measure and calibrate this machine. Okay, so we've talked about some more flexibility with the calibration. Uh, we're looking at the battery now, so we've got a battery operated machine. What does the battery life mean, or, or the machine being actually battery operated mean for the application or the treatment? What do we have to think about in that regard? Well, as I said earlier, the first thing we need to do is make sure we've got enough. Uh, so it's a good idea probably to get yourself a second battery so that you don't need to recharge on the go. So one thing we need to keep in mind is that as the battery depletes from fully charged through to empty, that the fan speed and performance is going to change. So as that starts to drop off, even though this is lithium ion battery technology, the fan speed will drop off slowly as we get towards the empty, and so is the droplet spectrum away from an ideal one.